Looks like we are about done with the BRZ. Still have a couple more things to do, like clean up the interior, you know, give it a good detail and probably fix little things here and there. But overall, body wise and the way it looks, it seems to be done. Uh, if anything, I'm gonna do a little bit of polishing, a little bit more waxing, just to give it a nice, nicer shine. Um, one of the one of the main things that you want to worry about when building a car from scratch or when you have to replace a bunch of pieces and it's like completely missing everything is that you want your body lines to all line up to everything look nice and flush because you don't want it to be all crooked like for instance like right here you want to be able to run your finger across it and know that everything is even that the gap doesn't you know get wider in one area and then just thin out you want to make sure it's a nice even gap on both sides you know everywhere you place it also where the doors go with the fender uh, it takes a little bit of adjusting you just have to mess with the bolts you know loosen them up kind of pull on stuff and then push or whatever you need and then just tighten it back up into place and uh, just to get it in that spot where you need it to be it was a big project I'd say it probably took me about a month to, to do all this uh, it wasn't something that you can do quite easily especially with the breakdown that I did of the vehicle itself to you know paint every piece separately because I think that's the best way to do it it's obviously a lot more expensive when you want to paint inside the door trims and all that stuff than just getting a regular paint job on the outside uh, but I like it I think it came out nice you know it's the best I can do for, for the car that I was dealing with you know I haven't painted very many cars but I think it came out nice and hopefully you guys do too uh, so we're gonna show you a little bit of how the car looks now enjoy Turn it on, turn it on. 